Supporters of Governor Sarah Palin wanted her to run for president in 2012. Right now, she's fighting back at McCain campaign staffers for anonymously ridiculing her knowledge of foreign affairs. It's cruel, it's mean-spirited, it's immature, it's unprofessional, and those guys are jerks if they came away with it, taking things out of context and then tried to spread something on national news that's not fair and not right. Joining us is David Frum, a former speechwriter for President Bush and a fellow with the American Enterprise Institute. Good morning, sir. Good morning. What do you make of Sarah Palin's response to those anonymous attacks? I, I think she's entirely within her rights on this one. You know, I was a critic of her nomination, but everybody is entitled to some basic fairness. And the stories that have been released about her most recently are not only incredible on their face. I mean, I just... I, of course she knew Africa was a country, to, a continent divided into countries, and um, of course she knew what the members of NAFTA, she's a governor adjacent to Canada after all, and is very involved in a lot of the NAFTA regulations governing energy. Uh, and they are also, I think, a real problem in our rules in, in media. I mean, it should be a rule that if somebody is anonymous, they shouldn't be allowed to criticize somebody else by name, because then we can't evaluate them, who they are, their motives, whether they're telling the truth. So on this one, I think she's right. What do you think was the purpose behind those attacks? Even, and you're saying they're not true. Well, I, you know, bad campaigns and failing campaigns often end up in this kind of welter of recriminations. And you often get people uh, uh, seeking advantage uh, by denigrating those above them. And then there's just the sheer human joy in mischief. Also, I think people in public life get reputations. And sometimes there's, uh, there's just some fun to be had. Anyone who's ever seen an older sibling tease a younger sibling knows there's sometimes just a human joy and cruelty. Mm. Do you think those attacks, even if they're not true, will hurt her chances for running for president in 2012 if she wants to? I I'm afraid they will. Um, that you put these impressions uh, on the public mind. Uh, vivid stories don't have to be true for people to remember them. Um, as the story of Bill Clinton's haircut, for example. We all remember that story. It turned out to be more complicated than that. Uh, but uh, that, that left a an enduring impression. She is very popular in the Republican Party. She's very unpopular outside the Republican Party. That's going to be her basic strategic problem in 2012. David Frum, thank you. Thank you.